Noita, a roguelike developed by Nini Company called Nola Games. This game is great. It has magic, explosions, it has that finish inspired story. And, most importantly, it's challenging. The game being hard is an understatement. In this type of game, every pixel is physically simulated, meaning that the environment will constantly change in the pursuit of killing you. Also, the world you will explore is procedural, and the enemies have very questionable AIs. But if all of that is not enough, there is one more thing that is guaranteed to kill you. That's you. You see, the game does a great job of not providing any kind of information on how to progress, so the only way to find out what works and what doesn't is to trial and error. And this curiosity will often come at the cost of your life. Try to pick up this coin, see what happens. Maybe you found a powerful looking wand and you try to use it. Big mistake. What if you eat too much? You die, that's what happens. But what happens when you die? Well, you start from the very beginning. You start on the end of a cave equipped with some of the worst possible ones. There are some stones that teach you the basic controls and that's it. As I made my way down, I entered the first level of the game, the mines. After playing this game for a few hours, I find the mines pretty mild. Dealing with enemies here, it's easy as long as you stay clear of toxic sludge and don't catch on fire. Both can be easily accomplished with a potion of water. If you can find any, just empty one of your potions and fill the bottle from a nearby lake. The goal here is to get to the bottom of the mines and take the portal that will get you to the next level. But I will take my time to explore the map and get as much gold as possible. As I go to the far right of the map, I find a lava lake which can be traversed by spraying some water below. Further ahead, there will be a wooden bridge over the chasm that leads to an orb room. Orbs give you a max health boost when picked up, so it's really worth looking for them. But that's not why I'm here. When I try to leave, I will encounter the first boss of the game, Sauvoin Tuntia, also known as Connoisseur of Wands. This boss is a new unit. He is immune to almost every kind of damage. There's a ton of HP. It can copy your spells. It chews projectiles that can polymorph you, or blind you, or make you teleport randomly, and almost one shot you with every spell. You simply cannot heal him. And I won't even try. After using some 200 AQ exploit from the internet, I managed to break his pathfinding and get him stuck on the other side. He will slowly damage himself with its spells, and all I have to do is wait. And after some waiting, he has calmed down. He drops two ones that are way better than my current ones, so I took them. He also drops two spells that will just kill you. I mean, 90% of the spells in this game are designed to kill you, but these are straightforward. On my way back, I grab some more gold and enter the portal to the holy mountain. This is a somewhat safe zone, where you can heal, buy other ones and spells, as well as customize your ones. You can also pick a perk that will be active the entire run. In this game, money is very important, so I'll pick the gold is forever perk. This will make sure that the gold does not despawn, which is great, because many times enemies will fight each other or kill themselves for no reason at all. After making some changes to my ones, I left the shop and jumped into the next level, the coal pits. I must say that the coal pits are very easy when you have an entire army of monsters. I make sure to collect all the gold that I found. I also found a wand with the best spell in the game, the Deacon Vault. Normally, I like the cold piece because you can mine for gold, but since I got the previous perk, I went straight to the fungal capers for some extra cash. You can also find many spells and wands here, so I recommend visiting it, which is at the far left of this layer. I have also found some health upgrades, which are always nice to have. Back to the shop, I got some bad perks, so I reshuffled them. I took the trick blood money perk which will make enemies drop healing gold if they die by an accident. Now remember when I said that the Deacon Bolt is the best spell in the game? That's because it reduces recharge time. Put this on your wand with the right spell and you can have a machine gun. After improving my wand once again, I enter the snowy depths below. I must say that the snowy depths are truly special to me. Never in the entire game have I died so much as I did here. Explosions, Uko, Hordes of Hissy, Worms, and again Uko, 
made it really hard for me. So I carefully navigated this entire level. I found some useful spells and overall it went pretty well. Mostly because of getting killed by the gold constantly. Until I almost died in a split of a second. But I somehow managed to escape and quickly jump into the portal. I finger with my wand once again and I am ready to go to the next layer, the hissy base. I entered the hissy base feeling powerful. None of the enemies here presented any challenge. I could just one shot most of them before even getting a chance to react. I really had fun this level using my new spells. Upright, I found a shop which had this place with an hourglass in the middle. I didn't know what to make of it, so I searched on the wiki, and it seems that once filled with teleportation, it'll open a portal that leads to 8 free random spells. And what luck, because there's a whole pool of teleportation just next to it. So I went to fill up a bottle, and that was a mistake. And I died. Just like that. This is where the game really shines. You play, and you die. But you learn from it, and you get better at the game. Then you become curious, and you die again. And when you die, you start from the very beginning. If you're still here, I would like to thank you for watching this video up until the end. I really enjoyed playing this game. I suggest you check it out if you haven't already. The game is currently available on Steam. Also, this is my first ever YouTube video, so I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like and subscribe, maybe even comment on your experience with this game. That is all for now. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.